makeup trends seem to be evolving faster than ever before. Bold statements like neon eyeshadow and even glitter made their way into the mainstream in early 2019. But many were already fading out by summer. So what looks won't be cruising into 2020? According to the beauty experts, here's what everyone ditched in 2019. Girl, bye! Instagram brows are officially dead, much to the delight of, like, everyone we talk to. This snatches your brows in three easy steps, or whatever. Rick Cheka, creative director of makeup design for Artistry by Amway, revealed, the days of using 15 steps to make your brows look perfect have ended. We don't have time for that. Instead, he claims people are focusing on celebrating their own unique beauty. They felt a sense of empowerment. They were having fun. Professional makeup artist Brian Cantor agrees that ain't nobody got time for Instabrows anymore, saying, No one wants to spend 10 minutes with five or six products just to put on their brows. Of course, a trend as big as Instabrows can't go away without another one swooping in to take its place. Virgin Brows, Cantor added, the trend is moving to fluffier, more natural-looking virgin brows that require far fewer products and steps to create. Likewise, Ali Sego, makeup artist and founder of Ali Things Beauty, recommends a full and neatly groomed eyebrow. This is much easier to pull off than the Insta brow, considering you'll only need powder for filling in and maybe a brow gel to add some definition, according to Sego. Who doesn't love ease? Apparently, full coverage foundation's days are numbered. Crystal B. Armstrong, a professional makeup artist based in New Orleans, claims we can say bye-bye to matte and heavily applied foundations, and the dry skin that comes along with them. Replacing the thick makeup trend is a light, dewy look, sometimes referred to as glass skin. Armstrong says, Glass skin, natural skin, luminous skin, it all says hydration and does not say matte. California-based makeup artist Mandy Bryce said people have given up their matte full-cover foundation, especially during the hot summer months, which is no surprise. She says, People are embracing more of a glowing-from-within look with effortlessly perfect skin, thanks to a good skincare routine, showcased with tinted moisturizer or a BB or CC cream, and a nice highlight. My skin has never seen the sun, so of course it's good. But if you're not ready to take the leap from full coverage to barely there, it is possible to get the dewy skin look with a heavier application. Armstrong recommended trying a quote skin-like medium coverage foundation with a hint of facial oil. This combo will probably still feel lighter than you're used to, but it's a great option for those who want to stick by their signature look. With dewy skin being such a huge trend in 2019, you'd think there'd be no such thing as too much glow. And I can get really carried away when it comes to the highlight. I really good. Nevertheless, overdoing it on the highlighter is a trend we all fell for. And probably now regret. Ali Sego admitted that even she is inclined to overdo the highlighter on herself at times. The best way to use this product, though, is to sweep it across what she describes as, quote, the high points of the cheeks to create a healthy glow that looks authentic. Carlina Zacharias, a makeup artist based in New York City, told Insider, Highlight that is too shiny can make you look like a light bulb. It's supposed to be used to create a glow, not high beams. A sheen smooth texture of highlight is the best and will give you a nice glow that you're looking for. Sego also reveals that she personally uses products like Luminous Dewy Skin Mist by Tatcha to get the desired subtle effect. The cut crease eyeshadow trend took root in 2018, but it sold itself out just a year later. The technique called for applying a lighter shade of eyeshadow across your eyelid and then a darker shade in the lid crease. This certainly defined and called attention to the eyes, but it was a bold look that definitely didn't stand the test of time. Just as we all started gravitating to the less is more foundation trend, a less dramatic eye also replaced cut crease shadow. Louisiana-based makeup artist Crystal B. Armstrong said, The trend was cute while it lasted, but you never see it on the cover of Vogue. Color is still in for 2019, but it's more like washes of color instead of color blocking with harsh lines. I've got to do something about the way I look. Some have even opted for an even more minimal approach to eyeshadow. With a larger focus on skin, Armstrong said sometimes people are just using mascara and liner. And that minimal look is a good one. Guys, I need to warm up a little bit. In 2017, Allure reported that faux freckles were having a quote major moment on Pinterest. But this wasn't exactly an easy trend for fans to master. Crystal B. Armstrong said, Nothing looks worse than fake freckles done wrong, and most of them were done wrong. By late 2018, faux freckles were still a thing. But despite being on trend for a while, Armstrong said she is happy faux freckles finally died out in 2019. Real freckles, on the other hand, are having their much-deserved moment. Thanks in part to the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, many have been inspired to show off their beauty marks. In an interview with Allure in April 2017, the former actress revealed, To this day, my pet peeve is when my skin tone has changed and my freckles are airbrushed out of a photo shoot. And I don't like hiding my freckles because they're my favorite part of my face. With the rise of minimal makeup, Armstrong said people have started to embrace their uniquely beautiful beauty marks. 
your imperfection is your perfection. Every skin is beautiful. Ali Go is totally over the megawatt under eye. She says, super bright under eyes are over. I do think it's good to highlight and brighten the under eyes a bit, but having a stark white under eye is not flattering and not natural. Try using a concealer just one shade lighter than your face instead of three to five shades lighter. Also, try setting it with a translucent powder instead of a lighter highlighting shade that's commonly found in contour palettes. Every time I do my makeup, I bake. I love how baking looks. I swear I could just go out like that. If you're hoping to mask dark under eye circles, you'll want to pay special attention to the inner corners of your eyes, as New York-based makeup artist Ashley Riley told Reader's Digest. You'll also want to consider using a concealer that's not just a shade lighter than your foundation, but one that is actually yellow-toned. Riley says this will brighten under the eye. When you first tried contouring, you were probably pretty in awe of the results. Who knew you could chisel out cheekbones with only the tools in your makeup bag? But alas, the days of Kim Kardashian-esque contouring are over, and a much more natural look has taken its place. Don't worry, though, there's still room in your makeup routine for contouring. It's merely become more sophisticated. Ali Seago says, Contour softly with a slightly larger brush and with a powder to buff it out. Try using a face powder that is one to two shades darker than your skin tone to add dimension to the cheeks, jaw, forehead, and nose. And blend until you can't blend anymore. Blend it, twist it, turn it, flirt it, ah! And don't go crazy with the contour kits, either. You don't need to blend in a bunch of different shades. In an article for Pop Sugar, makeup artist Nicole Maletti put it bluntly, writing, Embrace your face, people. There is no reason to stripe it up. Just as matte foundation is out, matte lips have also been placed on the back burner in favor of a more hydrated style. Los Angeles-based makeup artist Mandy Bryce says, Matte liquid lipsticks aren't going away by any means, but a more satin or even glossy look is becoming more prominent again. That looks beautiful. You do look like a popular 13-year-old. Lip gloss was a big deal in the 90s, as you may well remember, but it didn't surprise Sasha Jackson, Steely UK's national lead makeup artist and trainer, that it's made a triumphant return. If you had a juicy tube, you've made it. Your parents loved you and that was it. Jackson told Who What Wear, we have seen an increase in a more natural approach to makeup, and having a more glossy, moisturized look on the lip really complements that. If you follow any beauty gurus on social media, you are probably all too familiar with the glitter lip phenomenon. We have to admit that glitter lips look amazing in photos, but they definitely have a hard time existing anywhere outside of Instagram, like, say, real life. Brian Cantor says of the trend, it's too impractical and high maintenance for most people. The only way to get them to stay well was to use lash glue over your whole lip, which is incredibly uncomfortable and probably not so healthy. But glitter hasn't left the makeup scene entirely. I'm not done yet. Cantor says of the reimagined trend, in 2019, glitter has moved off the lips and is basically being applied everywhere else. The eyes, the cheeks, the temples, the forehead, and even the body. As Marie Claire revealed, the reinvented glitter makeup trend is all about looking chic, not like a quote human disco ball. And if you're feeling it, you can still keep a little glitter in your beauty routine. The secret is both in the application and the shade you choose. Makeup artist Rami Nager told Cosmo, Choose a shade that's lighter than your skin tone to mimic the look of a pearl highlighter. You'll want to apply a small amount to your cheekbones or even the inner corners of your eyes. This technique is called strobing, according to Nager. When choosing a color, remember that silver and pale gold complements light to medium skin tones, while bronzes and deep golds are a great fit for deeper skin tones. Spill those lips. What's in them? Are they wax? Gabriel De Santino, beauty guru and owner of Gabriel Cosmetics, knows what we were all trying to strive for with those overlined lips. He said, We all want fuller and more luscious looking lips, but you don't want it to seem like you have an entirely exaggerated mouth. It's just really easy to apply. But unfortunately, exaggerated mouth was just what literally everyone was getting when we overdrew and overlined our lips. If you were going for a Kylie Jenner or Ariana Grande look, but instead ended up with a Miranda Singh signature pout, well, hopefully you didn't post it to Instagram. Thankfully, though, there's another way to get fuller-looking lips that doesn't call for an essentially low-key clown mouth. DeSantina recommends dabbing some gloss in the center of your lips or lining them with concealer to make the color pop. You can also make your lips look larger without using any makeup at all. By drinking eight glasses of water each day, Healthline revealed that your lips may appear fuller. Exfoliating your lips with a lip scrub or even a toothbrush can also improve circulation, thus leading to a fuller appearance. If subtle makeup isn't your thing, you'll be happy to know that bright eyeshadow is still trending strong in 2019. However, Rick DeCheca says those bright popping eyes and perfectly matched lips aren't as popular as they once were. He predicts that bright eyeshadow will stick around in 2020, but it certainly won't be paired with a full face of the same color. He says, we're only going to pick one feature to put a bright color on. 
If you're going to use a colorful eyeshadow palette, a nude lip is always a stylish bet. But you don't have to ditch the color completely. Beach, please. Beach, please. Birdie suggested pairing a red lip with gold eyeshadow or a peach lip with a forest green shadow. These colors complement each other and your look. Makeup is transformative, and in transforming, it grants you the permission to do what you want to do. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite trends are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.